What does it take to buy a home in Austin, Texas right now? On well, the short market minute, I'm gonna break down the latest stats and tell you what that means for you if you're buying a home. So we just got the July stats from Austin Board of Realtors and in Travis County, our median sales price actually went down a little bit in July. Now news headlines are making a big deal about this, that Austin's one of the only cities where prices are declining. But what they're really speaking of is those year over year numbers. So in Travis County, we are still down about 9% year over year when you look at 2022 to where we are now but we really only inched down just barely from the month before. Now this does not mean that there's a crash or anything. This is just very normal seasonality. It means that families are getting their kids ready to go to school. They're doing vacations and everyone is pretty much just distracted. This happens every single year that I've been in the real estate business. The only exception was in 2020 where the spring was kind of shut down. And so we saw prices go up in the fall. But every other year, our prices kind of look like a roller coaster. They start to increase in the spring, and then as soon as school starts, the prices dip down a bit. Now, if things are back to a pretty normal um, cycle, then we should see prices continue to rise a little bit later in the year. So it's not gonna be as, the, as it was last year when rates went up, our prices came down. We're really seeing kind of normal seasonality in a more stable market. So that being said, if you're in the market to buy, one of the advantages of buying right now is that there is tons of choices. Prices are still at a discount and might go down a little bit over the next couple of months. There's currently about four months of inventory and homes are sitting on the market for about 51 days. So the great thing is that if you're buying, you've got a ton of choices to pick from. You can actually think about your choices. Back in 2021 and spring of 2022, buyers didn't have time to think. Like we would show a house and that day we had to decide if we wanted to put an offer on it because there were already multiple offers. So what's awesome right now is that even in lower end price points under 400,000, my buyers are having tons of choices to look at and they can think about it, come back a few days later, take a second tour and make sure that they're really buying a home that they love. You've also got a great amount of bargaining power. Most of our buyers are not paying any, anywhere near full price. Most are getting a little bit of a discount or they're able to ask for closing costs and incentives to help buy their rate down. So it's really an incredible time to buy. And even though rates are high, like I said, there's ways you can buy the rate down. And as soon as rates drop in the future, you can refinance, but at least you've locked in your home while you've gotten a lower price because as soon as rates go down, prices are inevitably going to go back up again. So we're actually in the process right now of buying a home ourselves. Um, we're getting ready to list our home this uh, coming week. And one of the reasons is just that we saw opportunities in the market right now, and we ended up finding a home we absolutely love with a new build. We got an incredible discount on it. And we decided just to move forward now while the market's slower because it's to our benefit in the long run to get the home while it's low, refi those rates when they drop in the future. So as always, every market, every neighborhood's a little bit different. There's still some parts of town that are a little bit hotter than others. So if you have specific questions about moving to Austin, feel free to contact us below and we'd love to help.